The Governance Project Community Engagement Report was released on Tuesday, December 1st for Ganhoage Hirono to view. The project is an initiative that was created to review and strengthen the effectiveness and accountability of the elected Council of Chiefs. KTV spoke to Project Assistant Jessica Lazar and Program Manager Gerald Dayayage Alfred. Well, the overall goal of the MCK Governance Project is to, to look at ways to increase the uh, effectiveness and accountability of the Council of Chiefs. And uh, there's three phases envisioned through the process. The first phase is focusing on um, the rules and procedures for the way the table operates and the jobs of the MCK Chiefs. And then the second phase, which this public engagement was, uh, was part of, is looking at uh, public uh, and community input into some of the central issues that uh, council chiefs are facing in regard to accountability, transparency, openness, uh, criteria for leadership, all these sorts of things. And then phase three is envisioned as uh, another round of public engagement on bigger issues of uh, governance in Ganawage, like uh, where does the MCK relate to traditional governance, uh, the relationship between the longhouses and the elected system and so forth. This phase of the project was an engagement process to try and gauge what the community views as governance. And so we had about 200 participants in total through various methods of engagement. We had family and workplace sessions where we would go into either your home or your workplace, provide food and refreshments and talk governance. We had four themes that we had this designed uh, questions around. These themes were the accountability of chief and council, the roles and responsibilities of chief and council, the code of conduct, and the selection process of chief and council. So the conversations that happened through all of all of these sessions were extremely fruitful and they ended up holding a lot of knowledge for us to pull ideas from, to incorporate into a accountability framework. The report is essentially what the community had said throughout all of the engagement sessions. Right now it's on Ganawage.com. So if you go on Ganawage.com, you can, you can download it. Uh, if you're computer savvy, you put it on your computer, you can take it, put it on your, your cell phone and, and read it at your own leisure. You can read it on the website, you don't have to download it. And then also if you're interested in a paper copy, we didn't make these available because of the COVID uh, situation, but if somebody does want a paper copy, uh, they can contact uh, Jessica or myself or the Mohawk Council, and then uh, arrangements can be made for them to, to get one. The outcome of, uh, of the multi forms of discussion that we've had was uh, summarized in the reports that we put out. Um, but my takeaway, if I had to give a, a, a really brief to the point summary is that people had a lot of constructive criticism uh, to put forward about the MCK chiefs as leaders in the community. And they really are focused on making the chiefs accountable to the highest standards of what it is to be a leader in the community. And they have a lot of suggestions uh, because people have thought a lot about and really care about the way our community is governed. And so they have a lot of thought going forward on how to make the, the system that we've inherited uh, from, from elsewhere and that we've done a lot of work in Ganawage to make our own even more of our own. And uh, that had a lot to, this has a lot to do with uh, our own people's ideas about what it is to be a leader coming out of our own traditional teachings. And uh, just uh, on that level, but also on the level of just holding people to account for professionalism, for their own personal conduct, and also in terms of recognizing the effects of uh, historical traumas, of colonialism, of racism, of abuses that have gone on in our community, being open and acknowledging all of that as creating the environment that we all operate in uh, politically in Ganawagi. So it's not a, it's not a system where uh, everything is all perfect and you come in and you start operating and, and doing government. It's a, it's a system that's inherited a lot of harm and a lot of issues that, that we all carry as individuals. And uh, chiefs are no different than anybody else, except they have the, the responsibility and the job of, uh, of representing 
us in uh, in this community too. So it's a it's a double challenge for them on a personal level and then on a collective level to to serve that role. There's been a lot of good work done in this community by people uh, inside the institution and in other organizations uh, on these sorts of issues before and. It's, it's been a problem where the work has been good, but then it's just sat on a shelf, so to speak. And so people are really concerned about the next steps. And uh, the good thing to realize about this process, and something that I wanted to emphasize, is that it was envisioned as a long-term process. It's not just that they hired me and Jessica to do this one thing. You know, this is part of a longer process and it's going to be continuing. And so there's already a vision for, for moving forward and taking these recommendations and the action that's going to come out of them to, to a different level. And so with that in, with that in mind, um, I can't speak to the political will of the table or, or what's going to happen on that level in terms of their response as, as an authority on this. But I can tell you that as the program manager for governance uh, in the OCC, uh, our next meeting is December 15th. And uh, we're going to be meeting and coming up with an agenda of work that needs to be done and things that can be done in response to this report in the immediate and then probably in the medium term, you know, before the election and then beyond the elections, kind of setting an, uh, an agenda in place for the new council to, to look at in terms of taking uh, this, these, the sense uh, that people have put into this report, into the feedback uh, that, we, that we ask for them on these big questions of governance into some sort of action plan. And uh, that's, that's the immediate response right now. I just wanted to say thank you to the community for inviting us into your homes and your spaces, as well as our community advisory group who was there as a, uh, a backbone, so to speak, for the accountability of myself and Gerald to ensure that we were doing the, prop the work properly.